there. Welcome to Idaho State University. We're here to show you our paper making studio today that's in the Department of Art. It's located in the Fine Arts Building on our Pocatello campus. Pocatello, Idaho is in the southeast corner of Idaho, about three hours north of Salt Lake City. This studio was developed by Rudy Kovacs, our emeritus professor, and now I take care of it. Um, we teach paper making classes for both undergraduate and graduate students, faculty, staff, and community members use it for special projects. And we love having visiting artists come join us to do workshops and do collaborative projects. So I just wanna show you a little bit about our studio and some of the equipment that we have. We're really happy to have it and we're grateful for Rudy's presence, um, even though he's now since retired. So right here we have our beautiful Valley Beater, which is a real workhorse. And we also have our Howard Clark Beater right beside it. They're located right next to each other due to like some power and water location issues. And behind it, we also have a whiz mixer hiding over there, which we'll often use to rehydrate pulp. So I'm gonna show you where we make Western style paper. We actually make Western style paper over here on these counters. And because we're located on the fourth floor of the Fine Arts Building, this is where we actually cooch our paper and the water drains in the center and we shot back it out. Um, we have a beautiful sink set up and a lot of equipment. Behind me are some really nice sized decal boxes. We have many molds and decals for the students to use. And then I'll show you where we dry the paper. First we press it in our Howard Clark 20 ton press. It's Western paper. If we're making Eastern style paper, we use a modified method to cooch it and dry it. And that's actually on these screens up here. Um, students will put milkweed, mint tomato, gompi, kozo. They'll make paper and directly cooch them onto those screens where they dry, and then they peel them off when they're done. So I'll just show you our drying box. students will dry paper in the David Reyna drying box right here. The studio also functions as a screen printing studio. I also teach fibers and so we actually do our screen printing up here. So you can see I'm working on preparing some screens right now. Um, they're about ready to get covered in emulsion and then I'm going to expose them. The exposure unit is hiding in our closet right here. Um, so it's right in there. It's a nice space without any light unless we turn some extra lamps on, and so it's a great space to have an exposure unit. Um, we also use this stove to cook fibers in the studio here. We have a fridge for storage. And then behind me over here is actually a vacuum table. Um, it's a beautiful vacuum table, a really nice large size for really large sheets of We've also had students make really large paper and marble large pieces of paper. So we have some swimming pools and some other things that we keep for special projects. And then we also have padded print boards for screen printing. Um, right here is our pile of milkweed that's waiting for students to process it. We couldn't teach paper making this past semester due to the pandemic, but we're looking forward to having students back in our studio and making paper again. Thanks for visiting today.